what's up guys uh, this is the review that's been quite a long time coming uh, I've had this knife since they were released um, whenever it was a while ago um, that I've been very happy with I've got a little bit of uh, outdoor footage that I'm going to throw in here as well this is a bussy uh, cabs stands for Choilus anorexic boss street so this is the boss street pattern um, but it's anorexic which means that it's thin which anybody who's watched any of my other videos knows that I like them thin for the most part don't get me wrong there's a there is a, a, a you know a place and a time where a thicker knife is correct I just ordered the uh, Swamp Rat or excuse me the Scrapyard 911 can't wait to get that sucker but I'm sure we'll need to be uh, reground when it gets here uh, at least the secondary bevel to have it function properly um, but uh, so I'm looking forward to that knife but back to the knife at hand choilless anorexic boss street so there's no choil um, of course it's made of infi steel uh, you can see the kind of the ripples infi will have a lot of times in the blade that's not a, a defect that's just the way it goes it is uh, it's a flat grind down to a convex secondary um, again it is relatively thin as you'll see when I roll the footage in uh, of a little bit of outdoors use it uh, it batoned uh, super old uh, standing deadwood that was very hard um, it was absolutely incredible it was no problem so you know you don't need some honking quarter inch blade to uh, to process wood black paper micarta scales as they all had with sort of a diamond pattern these were numbered this happens to be number 227 and the the black paper micarta scales are CNC'd with this kind of diamond pattern in them very rounded edges very uh, very good fit and finish as you can see and it just feels good uh, to me this is about my favorite uh, size knife for, for a woods knife and this is probably the best one and, and this is just my opinion obviously guys but this is one of the best ones uh, Bussy's ever made um, it's not super honking fat there's no uh, there's no finish or coating on the blade to hamper performance um, feels good can be used in the reverse grip although it's it is close but this if you had bigger hands I have a large hands but if you have bigger hands this right here uh, might give you a little bit of problem but it's just I can just get it in there for a re reverse chest lever grip um, as with most bussies it's got the tubes for attaching the scales so they are not coming off of there unless you were to drill out those uh, tubes lanyard hole in the back and the pommel sticks out so you could uh, either crack skulls or maybe hammer something um, at this point I think I will roll in the footage uh, of the the outdoors footage and we'll be Not right back anorexic means uh, skinnier than the normal boss street uh, but it is infi so Should be good to go, right? Huh. 
Obviously, since, it's, since it is thinner, is isn't going to split wood quite as good. But hey, that was pretty... That was pretty sweet. Be good for splitting smaller kindling size wood like we're doing here. Doesn't really have the length to do, uh, you know, larger pieces, but this wood it is incredibly hard, you know, slash strong. No problem. So again, I can't uh, stress enough how hard that that standing deadwood was. This uh, performed admirably. This sheath obviously does not come with the knife. This particular sheath is a chutty bear sheath. Um, Chuck does an awesome job with these sheaths. It's beautifully made. Not sure what's going on with the focus there, but if we look at the side, um, you know, it's really just impeccable. This is uh, he's got a couple different colors of leather available. Nice belt loop here. It's got the strap to hold it shut or to hold the knife in place, which works beautifully. It doesn't even move, let alone come out of there. And it really makes a really nice package. I would uh, definitely recommend Chuddy Bear Sheath. Um, there is a bit of a wait, but uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. And the pricing is reasonable. Um, I think this was a little over 100 bucks, but uh, that's just going from memory. But it was worth every penny. They have a certain look about them that's just cool, too. So these uh, these cabs were also available as uh, scabs and uh, L cabs, so which were small choil, anorexic boss street, which had a small choil right there, and large choil anorexic boss street, which had a full full size finger choil right here. Um, I chose the no choil because in a knife this size, I, I wanted to, I didn't want to lose. I wanted to lose as little edge as possible. You can still get pretty close up up on the, the uh, cutting edge here. As you can see, um, a little bit of swell in the handle, but overall um, it's a pretty basic handle and it, it works great. We'll do a run pass again here. It came super sharp. We'll just throw that in there real quick, right out of the box. Or sleeve, cardboard sheath. Came right out of the cardboard sheath, screaming sharp, which uh, we'll see has been doing a lot better lately with, which is much appreciated. But yeah, great knife. Can't recommend it highly enough. The Cabs by Bussy Combat. Um, you can still find these pretty reasonably priced if you see one and uh, you know this is your kind of knife grab it uh, we can compare it with a in size to a spider co mule so it's about a four inch blade about the size of like a SE4 has a nice spear point for or kind of a spear point for drilling, uh, etc. It's got an. I like the the location of the point, right right in line with the uh, rivets or the uh, tubes. So yeah, have any questions? 
Just ask, as always, I'd love to hear any questions or comments uh, that you may have. Um, I appreciate you watching. Um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.